might gotta just get ten back on got King. For some reason, Buster is not. Uh, come on, man! Don't jump on the counts like that. The bus is sitting in the Maybach. Oh, I think we might have the Buster. I think we might have the Busters of the Rhymes. Oh, Yo. you. We got, we, we was in the Maybach. What was you doing, King? Yeah, I'm in the streets now. So Snoop Dogg said, huh? you know, he, he shouted out, he shouted out uh, Jay-Z. And we know Jay-Z is, 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 is busy. Everybody's busy. But I said, you know what? what if it wasn't Jay-Z, who would it be? And he said, the person that was a part of Leaders of the New School, Buster Rhymes, the most, one of the most diverse artists of the East Coast. Because I said, the West Coast got to be in the building. And he's, he said, Buster Rhymes. And I said, me and Tim got to make the call because I don't, you know, Buster, Buster might be busy too. Shit, I don't know. When it come to this hip hop shit, I ain't never too busy. Mm. That's first and foremost. And number two, I don't think anybody can actually, anybody that knows me knows how much. Not only do I love Snoop, but I respect Snoop. And I don't think people really realize how hard Snoop works. Mm. And, 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 uh, I think people should really do their research to understand that when you really want to battle while celebrating each other, greatness and legacies and significant contributions to the art and the culture, mm. ain't too many people could, you know, light the dynamite stick and explode the whole fucking universe and create a climate shift other than a me and a Snoop, especially when we come together. So... My paperwork is in, Playboy. Wait, wait a minute, because I see a lot of Buster verse missing. Now let's. Now, how do we feel about that? I'm, I'm just telling you what people are saying in the comments. Buster verse missing. I mean, that's 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 a really obvious and to be expected uh, celebration of greatness because you know I don't know if people are familiar, but it's like Missy is like my twin sister. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I I look at Missy. When I see Missy, I see myself. Because Missy, she is the only person that I can actually say was as brave and was as courageous and was as outrageous and was as willing to challenge the status quo the way I was able to do right. it. Was willing to do it. And she wasn't only willing to do it, she did it successfully. Like, to this mm. day, there is no female that can fuck with Missy. And I'm saying that on the record. I'm not asking nobody no questions. I'm not going to argue or debate with nobody. Missy right. is my favorite female MC to ever exist on this planet. And that's mm. just taken away from anything that was before her. Because obviously, a lot of what was before me and Missy is what inspired me and Missy. You know, Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson and Prince and, you know, them, that level and that caliber of of performance and character and, and, and you know, George Clinton and, you know, Bootsy Collins and James Brown, like, we was after that level of showmanship. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, but what makes you versus Snoop special? Because you can't, there's nothing obvious about what me and Snoop is going to come with. See, you know me and Missy got similarities with the characters. And we got similarities with the outrageous outfits. Like, even if you compare us not only on a music level, but on a visual level, right? Mm. There's, there's a lot of things that we've done that you can see that we come from a particular bloodline. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can see that you almost know to ex what you expect. But um, Fadia, Fadia from Instagram said, Buster versus Missy makes so much sense. 
Who said that? Buster. <laughs> Buster versus Missy makes so much sense. And he's not scared of going against a woman. Oh, not at I'm all. Just saying. I'm, 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 let me explain something to you. The, the only woman that would be worth a challenge to me would be Missy. I'm, I'm, it is what it is. I wouldn't waste my time. And, I, and again, it's not a disrespect to no other woman. But Missy is not just a female genius. She's a genius, period. Like, I, I'm, I'm actually going to be, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it to you like this. Yeah, yeah give me, give me a Cole Heineken or something. Thank you. Yo, so if, if, Miss, if Missy wanted to go, let me if, Missy, if Missy wanted to go, what was the zone? If Missy wanted to go against me, I'm doing it. But this is my, but let me finish making my point. celebrate with you. If Missy wanted, if Missy wanted to celebrate with me, it is an automatic green light. But, Got but what I'm saying is, again, I gotta do like for me. I would love to do the Snoop thing first because Snoop, Snoop, Snoop got a different level of clever going on. Snoop different with the clever. Like, like Snoop is dangerous, dangerous, bro. Snoop dangerous as hell because quiet as kept. Snoop might have outworked everybody. Quiet. Quietly, Snoop might have outworked everybody. Snoop, Snoop's work ethic is so unmatched. And I don't think people realize that. Like, Yo, Snoop does everything. Snoop is a vampire in films. Snoop is a is 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 a is is with Martha Stewart on TV. Snoop is Snoop. He 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 done rhymed in every group from 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 Death Row to to to, to Dog Pound to 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 East Siders to like big facts. Yo, there's so much different shit Snoop got his hands in. Snoop a football coach. Snoop 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 is like shit. He got a trillion different hats that people... Snoop was a game show host. Like, I don't think people really understand how much shit... And I'm just talking about on a rap level that Snoop got in a stash that might not even... and may not have ever been on your radar. And that that that's the excitement for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... I don't think people got as many. Snoop Dogg got twenty albums, and niggas don't even realize that. No I limit wanna, zone too, huh? He got the no limit zone too. I didn't even touch on that, but that's what I'm saying. It's so countless that I don't really think people really sing praise to Snoop. In the let me ask, cause I asked Snoop this question too. Yeah. What would be your first song that you play celebrating Snoop? And it could change. It could change. That's a good fucking question, son. Because I ain't gonna front. There's so many Snoop moments. It wouldn't be, I couldn't name one first song. I would have to name about three or four. If, if I could name the three or four, then I'd do that. But I can't name one. Name, name the three or four. Name the three or four. This is a Bosky so piece around your neck, too, with all due respect. This is the Warhol one. This is the Warhol. Excuse me. I gave Nas the basket. Yeah, yeah this is the Warhol. I love that. Thank you, King. You got you, you got hip hop. You got hip hop around it. your neck right now. I mean, you know, this is the regular. But you know, you every now and then it's beautiful when you could pull out, you know, one of the shits that the kings get buried in the tombs with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every, everybody's. I'm looking at the comments, and everybody said they want to do a poll vote. They want to what? They want to do a poll vote. A poll Everybody vote? said do the, do the poll and let the people decide. I'm seeing this. Of, of who I should be up with? Of who, who I should yeah, be you got two elevation. options. Missy versus Buster. Buster versus Snoop. I'm just looking at the comments. Wow. You, you know, you know, it's about 40,000 of us just, just communicating after the battle. Um, wow. The people, the, people is, the people want the poll. But... I mean, whether it's Snoop or Missy, if it, let's just say it's Snoop, which I would love. See, I got my, right. I got my West, 
because we need the West Coast, and I, I, I would love to see the West Coast in versus um, for sure. Uh, I mean, I, I, mean I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. I've been in that direction a little more so myself because you know, again, I know, I, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a lot more familiar with running towards the challenges that make me a little more uncomfortable than not. Like, that's so, what I... That's what I so, so, so you feel that you're more familiar with Missy versus the South part that's, that Snoop's going to come you come to you with? Snoop is going to yes. challenge you yes. a little more, you feel, yes. because you and Missy grew up in the same family in that that's, same zone. That's exactly what I'm saying. I respect that. I respect that. I like that. I like that. I like, I like the unexpectedness of Snoop and Buster. I like Missy versus Mary. I like Missy versus Mary too, but I kind of I want to hear Missy. See, Missy bars is a little dangerous too. Like, don't let the antics misconstrue the fact that Missy got bars. Big and bars. She, she will bust your ass too on some rap shit. So I personally need Missy. Hold on, we might need Missy. Missy versus Lauren Hill. I fucks with that. I fuck with that. See, the only only problem I have with that though, Lauren Hill catalog ain't long. Son. You know, outside of the miseducation of Lauren Hill, as powerful as that album is, I don't I don't know if her catalog could could compete with Missy. Missy got she got yeah, but, but it's twenty zones. Lauren got twenty zones. Okay, and even right, Missy, between, between, even between, Missy. Missy and Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim got a 20 that's serious. Yeah, you right. You absolutely right about that. I mean, I ain't mad at that neither. Yeah. I'm just giving out zones, but the four, the three or four that you would play if it was Snoop. Let's get back to that. Okay. Because that was first, special. First, first and foremost, deep cover was a was a was such a climate shifting movement because I don't think we ever heard of first of all Snoop produced a tone vocally to the game that the game has never heard or experienced with just the way his voice octave is naturally like just he just the way he sounded it was almost like oh my god what the fuck is really happening here you know what I'm saying so Deep Cover is one of one of my favorites from Snoop. And what would you, if he played Deep Cover? What would you what you gonna answer Deep Cover with? Woo! Buster Rhymes. Oh yes. Um, well, I'm really like I'm really I'm really if Snoop if Snoop came with Deep Cover first for me, I would probably have to come back with like. I might come with I might have to come with a me and Swiss special I might have to come with a tear the roof off or some shit like that son not after deep cover and I love the record that we did we can't do tear the roof off after deep cover I mean that's what you feel but the problem is I, I feel if he played deep cover you gotta hit him with the, the do -dum, dum 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 I, and I mean, I mean, I mean. I guess if you match it, if you match it octaves, that's cool. But yes. see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a showman on stage, right? And I know if me and Snoop did them two records on stage, right? What well, my energy is gonna be on that stage to that? Song. No, you gotta play. He played deep cover. You better play scenario. What are we talking about? Are you crazy? <laughs> Let what? Don't be crazy in here. Hey, yo, you Swiss, he come with Swiss, deep cover. You come with Swiss. Swiss, I can find with the good and divine healer. Swiss, bring it back on red wine. Powerful attack. Bull for the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let me. Throw, you gotta let me throw my curveballs. I'm not giving away shit on this phone call with you, Playboy. Okay, 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 don't okay. Me, don't ask me when I'm coming back. <laughs> you gotta say that's okay. the I just, you just threw me way off. You threw me, you threw me way off. I can't lie. Make sure you understand Swiss beats because I'm a big like sound clash, you know. <laughs> yeah, big sound. He come, I come like bomb cloud sound clash. You I know? see, I see, I see. Um, bus. I see Usher in the comments making a lot of references. Who do we see Usher celebrating with? Usher celebrates with. Usher should celebrate I see, with. 
I see Usher versus Chris he Brown. Go, he got to go with Chris Brown. I see Usher versus Chris Brown. I see a lot of Usher versus Timberlake, but for the culture. Listen, man. Listen. Usher and Chris Brown got to be it, man. That's it. Everybody That's tell it. Usher. You ask in my opinion, I'm giving it to you, big boy. Usher, Usher versus Chris Brown? I don't want to see no Usher and Justin Timberlake. I want to see Usher and Chris Brown. Why you don't want to see us to Usher and... So somebody said Usher versus Trey Songs. I don't, I don't... Um... I don't know. I just... I think Usher and Justin... Usher and, and, and Chris Brown, they got a lot of them. They got a lot more of them tempo records that, that go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other to me, bro. We might got to do a poll with that, too. Usher versus who? Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Because Usher been, Usher been ready for the verses a long time. And, you know, I think the male R&B is time as well. It, it's absolutely time. Usher versus who? Is it Usher versus Chris Brown? Is it Usher versus JT? Justin Timberlake? I think those two, I don't, I don't, and, and I, I, I vibe with Trey Songs, by the way. That's, that's my guy. But I just think that Usher versus Chris Brown is dynamic. Usher versus... Justin Timberlake, Chip Timberlake, could be crazy. A lot of you people know what? saying, I, you know uh, what? Chris Brown you know versus what? Drake. You know what? I think I, I, I might, I might have to change my opinion on that. I okay, I'm listening. That, I, for, I forgot that Justin Timberlake. You know, once he got into his real solo zone, he definitely started heating up shit, especially amongst our people with Pharrell in them. You feel me? He definitely Timberland started and Pharrell. Up shit in, 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 in our community of music, in, in, um, amongst black folks and, the, you know, the, the so-called urban community, Justin Timberlake definitely started to sizzle up shit with Pharrell and, and Chad. And I can't front on that. They got a, they got a mean catalog of shit together. And, and I can't front. Timberland and Justin was is, is a very dangerous... Them two motherfuckers... Be, like, be you know, Timberland. Timberland. Be, you gave Justin Timberlake a few things that I wanted for my goddamn self, bruh. All right, Timberland? Yes, you yes, did. did. Yes, you did. B dot, B dot said, what did B dot say? Where did he just go? Buster Rhymes versus Fat Joe. Only way. I want all of that smoke. Fat Joe, I love you, but I'm with all of the smoke, too. And Fat Joe... <laughs> You're going to stop acting like you don't want to do this. You better get in this field with us and let's dance. Come on. Come on, Joe Crack. Come on, Crack. We violators, playboy. Ooh. Joe Crack, we are violators. Fuck you, me. You got to come in this shit and violate. That's what we do. Ain't taking no back talk from you neither. Ooh. Crack, come I get in this shit and dance. I see a lot of J. Cole versus Kendrick Lamar in there too, though. I think that's an amazing battle. I think J. Cole and Kendrick is amazing. I mean, you know, people already anticipating a duet album from them for some time. That's that that conversation piece been in the works for a few years. You know what I'm saying? People want us, they already put them two toe to toe ish with each other. But you know, you know what you know what I respect about you is that every name that I said Buster Rhymes versus, you said, I'm with all the smoke. I oh, respect fuck. that. I respect that part of your craftsmanship and your in your love for music. I respect that. Yo, Swiss, oh, let me just let me just L, L, L is in L, L is in the comments right now. Oh, that's and another so fellow they, they said L they said L, L versus Ice Cube. That is unbelievable. Listen, that is unbelievably incredible, just for the record. L, you, L what we doing? I, I, I was I was trying to get my request in for for you to answer me on the when you and Snoop was talking, and when I seen what Snoop was saying, not only do I agree with Snoop, but I'm speaking from firsthand experience. When Ice Cube left NWA, leaders of the new school was waiting our turn to be put on by Public Enemy. Mm. At the time, I was about 15 years old, mm. and we used to go to this. Studio in Hempstead, Long Island. When I moved from Brooklyn to Long Island, and in Hempstead, Long Island, the studio headquarters for Public Enemy 
The address was five Mount Franklin in Hepstead, Long Island. All right? Mm. And at that time, you came to Long Island in Hempstead with Sir King. They started working on that America's Most Wanted album with Eric Vietnam Sadler, Keith Shockley, Hank Shockley. Fat Joe saying, talk that shit, bus. He in the comments. Listen, I was sitting in there in the hallway in the staircase. Me, C. Brown, and Dinko. We would have a studio session booked like 5 o'clock in the evening. They got a little Chinese restaurant right across the street. And we would sit there and we would go and get our little $5 four-piece chicken wings and french fries. Mm. And niggas would be eating their shit waiting for Hank Shockley and Chuck and them to pull up and Keith in Vietnam. And them niggas would show up sometime like around 9, 10 o'clock. And they'd come in there with Q and Jinx. And them niggas would turn around and tell us, y'all niggas got to go home tonight. We working with Ice Cube. And we used to be so heartbroken by the but what it did in the process was it, 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 it gave us a tough skin that allowed us not only to show how determined we was to get off our shit that we wanted to get off, but it also gave us the tough skin to show them niggas how determined we were and we were not accepting that shit. You're not just telling niggas to go home. And thinking we going home and that was going to be it. Nah. We would go home. We come back the next fucking day. We mm. watch come back and work. We watch mm. that America's most album get made from fucking scratch, bro. Green Street Studios, 510 South Franklin and fucking Hempstead, Long Island. And all of that shit that was happening, Cube was putting his arm around us. So, so who you got, Cuba LL? Let's get to the smoke. Um, you talking about gutter? I'm talking about period. Q versus LL. I don't know if I could call that right now. Because let me tell you something. Number one, LL was known as the nigga to massacre other MCs on some battle shit. And he was doing it on features. And he was doing it on records that he was putting out. He but then he got around the way, girl. But, and, and but doing it well too but but that's what i was gonna say he was known for massacring niggas on mm. records and he was known for giving you the biggest records for the ladies on records and that's where he might have an edge on cube because cube ain't really make records for chicks too tough you know what i'm saying but cube had a production usher that, usher said usher said ll verse buster i'm with that smoke too we both violent <laughs> And he is, a, and we both Smiths. I'm Mr. Smith, and he's Mr. Ooh. Smith. I mean, he's 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 big bro, Mr. Smith. But I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck too, though. My first rhyme I ever wrote, I was trying to be like LL. The rhyme was called Pulse Rate. I'm gonna spit it real quick. My pulse rate set of hearts will increase by the beats when acknowledged by the listeners. The fresh lyrics I speak, vocal tones of my voice increase with an extension. To approach or so exceed the fresh lyrics I will mention. See, the whole cadence in that and the, the attempt to try to use big words, that was me really on some super LL fan with an LL shrine in my bedroom. Hung up all of his Word Up magazine pictures and Black Beat magazine pictures in my bedroom. LL was like the dude we all wanted to be like. And he ain't never Ooh. stopped being that dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, still that guy. I'm still trying to be. Buster's with all the smoke. I'm with it all. I'm all with it all. the smoke. I'm with it all. Listen, bro. Not only the, not only am I with all the smoke. When I go to the club while I'm at the airport, nigga, I sit in the smoking section. <laughs> what is we talking about, man? <laughs> I sit in the smoking section, nigga. <laughs> I'm a tag. Yo, King. We're going we gonna to set it up for the verse. I'm going to tag Usher in. He's a big top. Usher, pick up. Don't yo, run from the smoke now. Yo, Swiss, I love you. I'm here, and I'm ready to go. So, dog, you are one of my favorites ever to exist on this planet, not only as an MC, as, as a human being, 
Yes, sir. As a father, as a source of inspiration, LL, so are you. Ice Cube, so are you. Timberland, you and Swiss as well. Missy Elliott, of course. Mm. Congratulations to Nelly and Luda tonight. Serious Big zone. Dick. All right? Big Party zone. Love you, you, King. I like that you went to smoke. We're going to get you up on here so you can break those records. Oh, that's a fucking fact, brother. And it Big don't zone. matter what date you want to announce, I'm prioritizing this one here. Let's, Let's get go. It. Let's All get right? it. All right, King. Love. Love. Man. It's a, it's 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 going down. Let's see what I should let's see let's let's